Hi, I'm Jess from Official London Theatre. I'm just on my way to the Holbein Art Tour. I'm going to the National Gallery to look at all things Henry VIII's Six Wives. It's um, alongside Six the Musical. I'm really looking forward to it. I even believe there's some cocktails afterwards. Let's go. We're one of a kind, no categories. Um, Jackie is a costume historian, is particularly going to be focusing on some aspects of dress and that is for a particular reason because part two of the tour we are going to the Long Acre, which is next door to the Arts Theatre uh, where there are Queen's cocktails so you should all have in your pack a menu with the cocktail choices and it's very very exciting for a number of reasons first of all, surprise! <laughs> we have some special guests joining us today. We're doing it already, aren't we? We are doing this thing where we play one off against another. When we think, you know, who's the most important? And that's what the show is all about, isn't it, ladies? You know, do you have any thoughts about which queen might be the most important? <laughs> 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 maybe Me? Catherine of Arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Catherine of well, that was the most important because, you know, Husband. I got everything, so... I was there I for 24 was. years. 24 Catherine Barr was with him for, like, six months. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't even have to deal with him. I had to deal you with him. You were the exactly only one who had to deal with the in-laws. Let's talk about that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, we haven't got all of them. They're missing. My name's Catherine of Aragon, was married 24 years, I'm a paragon of royalty. My loyalty is to the Vatican, so if you try to dump me, you won't try that again. <laughs> Music man tried it on and I was like, why? So I thought, who needs him? I can give it a try. I learned everything, now all I do is sing. I'll do that until I die. Heard all about these rocky chicks. Loved every song and each remix. So I went out and found them. We put down an album. Now I don't need your love. All I need is so cute. This is from Anne Boleyn, who has now left the show and wants to do another one. Millie O'Connell. Yeah. So she's in Soho Cinder, so this was her old costume. And the new Anne Boleyn is performing now, because it's 6 o'clock and then the 8.30. So um, the dress, the costume designer, um, after designing the clothes for Six, the musical, the costumes for Six, the musical, has just designed the costumes for the Spice Girls tour. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of sort of um, similarities, isn't there, with references to the queenly costumes or the kind of grand Spice Girls. What's that? Tell us this. This is me, the new Anne Boleyn, guys. The secret sound. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Millie. Yeah, it smells like Millie. Oh, 
Prince exhibition. <laughs> yeah, so Millie. So Millie. I love it. Did you know much about the Six Queens before you came? Kind of, because I mean, we took history in a British school, so we heard all of the history, but not a lot of the, some of the details for sure. Like I, I didn't know about. Yeah, I think much like was um, said in the tour and like it's alluded to in the, in the songs, you know a lot about Henry, you know a lot about how the Queen's ended, but not so much about who they were and what their lives were and what all the things that they brought to court, which is what we heard of in the tour, which was, which was really interesting. It's been amazing. Um, we've done things back to front. We saw the musical and then we came on this tour and in a way it would have been nice to have had the history the history lesson from this tour to enhance the musical but it, it was a terrific way to learn history I like learning about all the different headdresses uh, and the different materials of the clothes um, and like we learn about filaments which is like the little jewels that you got in the headdresses that's just like unique little insights that I have to search really hard in the history book to find otherwise the funniest thing is I even told you I thought I knew everything after seeing the show a couple of times and then I was here and I didn't even know how to it. So yeah, it's very interesting. So that was my tour experience, a little kind of amalgamation of what went down. Um, some of the coolest parts is the fact that two of the queens, Alexia and Janaea, came along. Um, no one was expecting it, um, so it was a really nice surprise. And not only did they just pop in and say hello, they actually obviously joined us as well. And I think the thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that Henry VIII loved fashion. He spent four million pounds, I think, over a year, which I guess, I mean, four million pounds is a lot of money. If you're super rich, maybe it's not as much money, but I didn't even know they had a million pounds back in Tudor times. And the fact that in one year, he spent like one million pounds on his wardrobe, that's incredible. That is, as much as I don't really like Henry that much, I kind of respected him for how much money he spent on clothes. It was also really incredible to be able to get to see Anne Boleyn, Millie O'Connell's actual costume and feel it and touch it. They said that costume has survived such a long time. I think it might have been 18 months, I might be wrong. Um, but that costume, you know, has survived all those shows she's done. But they've also survived Western Life, the Olivier Awards. That costume I was holding has been on stage at the Olivier's. And it was so, you know, it still worked. You could still wear it. And to have a costume that's so versatile and to last that long is pretty incredible. If you want to know more about the Sixth Musical Experience, then you can go on their website and you can get your tickets. Um, so I'll recap. Tour at the National Portrait Gallery, and then we went to the Long Acre, which is um, basically next to Sixth the Musical, the show, and you get some six themed cocktails included in your ticket price. And if you want, you can also buy some extra nibbles before the show. And then obviously, after you've done the tour, you've done the cocktails, you then actually go and see the performance, um, which, do I need to tell you, it's amazing, it's fun, it's so different, um, lively, upbeat. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to Official London Theatre and please give us a like if you liked it. Um, hopefully I'll see you at the House of Holborn tour or I'll see you at Six the Musical. See you later.